Hi, I'm here at Spring One platform in Las Vegas. I'm talking with Edu. He is a contributor for Spring Boot and he just talked about Spring Boot in a session here. And I invited him to talk a little bit with us, talk about Spring Boot and that's it. Let's talk with him. So I do thank you very much for your time to be here with us. And how are you? How was your presentation? Did you like? Uh, Say hi to Brazil. Uh, hi, hi Brazil. Uh, thanks, thanks for for inviting me to this uh, online session. Uh, well, I, I felt very nervous in my, in my session. Maybe you you could notice, but I think that the most important things about the Spring Boot was delivered very well, uh, and now everyone can everyone knows. Uh, what kind of, of stuff they can do because the Spring Boot, it provides a lot of uh, useful things. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I do uh, just create an application from scratch right in the session, in his session. He created a simple application, of course, but the, the showing how Spring Boot is easy, uh, how Spring Boot can uh, facilitate our lives. So, what do you do? Can you talk a little bit what you do for Spring Boot? Okay, uh, I have been uh, contributing to Spring Boot since the last year, so uh, I, I have sent like oh, 46 uh, pull requests. Uh, th there are interesting features there, like uh, new endpoints for liquid base and uh, Flyway, and also I could work with uh, a spring a spring committer in the catching support in the in the previous version and that that's all my work, work, work uh, try to to make uh, a spring boot a little better with some knowledge that I have okay so it's you talked about flyway could you detail a little bit more what about flyway and spring boot this feature Okay, Flyway and Liquibase are database configuration management. Uh, the, uh, the, there are libraries you can add to add it to the to your project, and Spring Boot it will recognize uh, these classes, and then we'll look for the scripts in your in, inside your application. And as I said, Spring Boot. It provides auto configuration for everything, so this this new scripts will be loaded in the database. So it's basically, you just add the dependency, add the scripts, and you, you will have a, a database configuration management there. Okay, okay, yeah, it's it's a pretty nice feature because you can create your database pretty easy with that, right? So about Talk about a little some some new features. What do you think Spring Boot is missing right now? What are the plans that they are thinking about Spring Boot? Uh, I, I don't know what they are missing because sometimes I am very surprised with all all the work that the Spring Boot and the Spring Boot community are doing around the Spring ecosystem. Uh, there are some topics that there are in in GitHub issues in, in the project. Uh, like, for example, metrics and something that is coming for the next year in, in the next the next major version to dot to dot own is uh, reactive support. So nowadays, uh, well, the last week uh, Spring Five was was delivered. Uh, the first milestone was delivered. So there are initial support for reactive applications and. They are planning to, to move this stuff for uh, the next major version. Uh, actually, there are uh, uh, experimental uh, dependencies, which is uh, a Spring Boot Reactor M MVC Reactive. So you can add to the Spring Boot and you can play with reactive applications right now. So uh, may, one, one feature that also is coming is uh, support for JUnit 5. So, uh, as we know, uh, the second milestone of JUnit 5 has been delivered, and I think that the Spring Boot thing is is aware about this. And 
there they are going to support both both versions maybe four and five so we can expect that in the next futures okay very nice so reactive programming and JUnit 5 are two big new stuff for Spring Boot very nice there are some questions for our audience in Brazil and one that I heard a lot and you said in your presentation it's about use the jar Spring Boot uh, start application as jar take the, the application created by Spring Boot the double the war uh, and deploy it in an application server like Wildfly. So, what's your opinion about that? Uh, I am not against the application servers. They are good, they provide uh, a lot of features. But nowadays, it's really, really easy to deploy a, a JAR file, as, as we have seen in the, in the presentation. Just you, you just need Java in your machine, the JAR file, and you can run your application. Nothing more. But if I want to run over an application server, I have to install the, applica the application server on my machine, and then maybe we will have some, some problems because you don't know so much about this, uh, this, uh, this application server. So it can be tough. So there are also, oh, well, we can see nowadays that some uh, application server are delivering as a third party dependent as a third party library uh, their internal their internal application uh, their, their internal uh, servlet container for for example uh, jboss or, or what whitefly it runs over uh, under 2 so under 2 is the embedded servlet container mm -hmm. and we can add it to a Spring Boot too. So, as I said, I am I am not against the, the application server, but if you are going to to use just to put your wire or your ear there, I think that is not valid. Okay. okay, so it's not necessary, right? You can use it as simple as it is as Spring Boot is, right? Uh, okay, so do you know some? companies that are using Spring Boot in production that you can talk for us? Uh, companies like Netflix are using uh, Spring Boot. They are, they are also built a Spinnaker project over, over a Spring Boot. So I think that a Spring Boot is uh, oh, okay. it's, it's new even nowadays after three years, uh, but it is gaining uh, more uh, more public uh, to be adopted but th there maybe are some concerns like uh, why deploy a yard instead of oh, what or, uh, uh, that kind of stuff okay okay so thank you very much Edu, for your time to be here with us and i appreciate and thank you so much e para você que assistiu essa palestra essa entrevista é, se você puder curtir esse vídeo, se você puder comentar, falar alguma coisa, vai ser bem legal. Compartilhe com seus amigos e é isso daí. Estudar Spring Boot é bem legal. Valeu!